Hello everyone, my name is Simon and I'm going to show you how to find the sum of numbers using Falcon C++. First you have to get the, the application Falcon C++. Thereby I have already downloaded mine. Here you can see it here on the desktop. So you open it. When it's launched, you go to the file, new, then C++ file control plus N, and click on it. It opens this blank area whereby you write your code. But before that, you have to save it, save the work that you're doing so that it, or the compiling it doesn't prompt that error whereby mine I'm going to save it here and uh, file name you write, you write the name of what you're doing which, is, which mine is sum of sum of numbers so once it's saved you can start your coding whereby we start with hash include space then the smaller less than less than sign I string and the greater than sign the end then you go to the next line which is using name space as the, the semicolon at the end then the next is int main and the brackets then a text box appears with these options in inside so you choose the second one main function without parameters and click on it which automatically enters for you the opening brackets and the closing brackets and the turn zero command at the center your code should be in between the first opening bracket this one and the return zero command so you put your code there which in this in this time round you use int x semicolon int y semicolon int z semicolon these are the numbers you're going to find the sum so you have to put them as an integer then you go to the next output command which is c out double less than sign double apostrophe then you write enter the first number Then the closing apostle double apostle less than sign and end line and a semicolon at the end. Then there is the command for entering the data in the command line, which is seen to double 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 greater than signs then you enter the first integer semicolon then 
then C out again less than sines then the double apostrophe enter the second number then the double apostrophe at the end to less than signs and end the align now semicolon at the end then scene again double greater than signs then the next integer which is y and a semicolon at the end then see out again less than signs then double apostrophe enter the third number the closing apostrophe double of them and the less than signs to end your line then seen again greater than signs and enter your integer the last integer which is z and enter again whereby you say sum equals x plus y plus z this is the function which is supposed to display the addition the addition of the integers you have put as sum so you go to the next one which you see here and this is what will be output at the at the end of your output which is c c out two less than signs then double apostrophe for the opening and then you say answer is double apostrophe for closing sum then you write what is going to put it is which is sum then you put the small then size double of them then what is going to be output at the end of your command which is sum this one here so you put sum then the hyphen at the end after after that you, you are supposed to put a return zero as your end of command coding that you have written but it is already entered for you so now you can compile your work and see if there is any mistake whereby there is a mistake here at sum so there is since we forgot to, to put it as an integer thereby you can go back there on top and write int sum and the semicolon at the end so you compile your arc again to see if there is any mistake there is no mistake so you can run your work now whereby you enter the first number you can write 12 enter 
the second number I will write 10 enter the number could be 5 enter and it gives you the sum which is this answer is 27 thank you for your time check out my next video